there's very few that are true three percent. And a lot of people might say he was armed, he shouldn't have reached for his gun, or he was human. He wasn't Superman. He was scared of dying, just like any one of us would be scared of dying when we're being chased by, by them. So he wasn't reaching for a gun. He was reaching for the gunshot wound. Exactly, exactly, exactly. He exactly. went That's to it. reach it because he got shot. His windshield was all shot up already. They didn't do that. The dude in the tree did not do that. Somebody else was doing it before he took off. So he was running for his life. He was driving for his life. When he shot, when they shot him in the belly, he reached and he realized, oh shoot. He put his hands back up. And they, sh they shot him again. I, I was one of the first ones to say you look like you read. Here's the biggest problem I have with that, and maybe no one else has picked up on it. After they shot that man, he laid on the ground. Not one cop disarmed him if he was armed. Amen. Twelve minutes. Not one cop went to check his body for a gun, which tells me he didn't have one. Twelve minutes he laid there. And, and he 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 was laying there, and he heard the blaze of glory, all the all the gunshots. You know what he was thinking? He was thinking that they were fighting. He was thinking that his people were shooting back. Nobody shot. Nobody did anything for him. And now he's gone. <clears throat> he was gonna. He was gonna go. He knew he was gonna go. Either way, he was gonna go. He had, he told him. He told everyone that he wasn't gonna be in a concrete box. He wasn't. In, he wasn't gonna die a free man. And he did. And a lot of people are saying, "Oh, he got what he deserved." They can't say that. They can't say that because that means that they're going to do it to every single one of us. Because what he was doing... Because what he was doing is something that we all need to do. Is stand up. Stand up for, for what's ours. Not for what... Not for what all of a sudden it became the government's. It shouldn't have been the government from the beginning. It wasn't the government. Little by little, they're taking more, and they're taking more, and they're taking more. Next thing you know, they're going to tell us that we can't stand here. Why? Because we're not the same race? Why? Because we're not for the government? You know what? I got one thing to say. Don't tread on me. Don't tread on me. And a lot of people, on uh, us, me and myself too, we need to just squash whatever everybody is dealing with, their egos and everybody is, oh, I'm the main guy and no, if they don't fuck, if it wasn't my guy, I'm not going to do it. It's never, there's never going to be one reason for everybody to say, let's do it. There's never going to be because it's not hitting you personally. This is, this, this is almost personal, this is personal to me. This little guy right here saw the video last <clears throat> night. That video that we all seen last night. That little guy bawled his eyes out. That broke my heart even more than, than actually watching that video. It, it, it enraged me watching that video. It broke my heart when I seen him crying. And his aunt asked him, what's wrong, Mio? What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? And he just said, our brother died. That was our brother. That was our brother. And I'm not telling I'm not telling anyone to get up and and go do crazy stuff. No, I'm not telling you guys to do that. I'm I'm, I'm asking for us to rise as the people. Every single one of them uh, of us that are here, we need to share the next event. We need to. I see a lot of new faces out. We've been coming out here for the last four weekends. Ever since they were been over there, I wanted to go. Me and my brother Mike, we were going we're already scheduled to go but we said we need to be here because this is not just Oregon this is not just the east the west coast no this is the nation this is the nation's problem it's not a problem for John Ritzheimer it's not the it's not Blaine Cooper's problem it's not the Bundy's problem it's not Burns Hogan's problem it's we the people's problem and I just I think it's time guys I think I, I think it's time. We gotta take our land back for them, for the future, for our kids. 
There's a strong saying that says, there's a, there's a, st- a saying that says, if there's gonna be war, I love peace, but if there's gonna be war, let it come in my time so that they can be in peace. I want them to be in peace. And as long as I'm able to, better, better believe I'm gonna try. Better believe I'm gonna try. And we all know that they're watching, they're watching us right now. But what can they do? Imagine if we're thousands. We're, we're more than thousands, they are thousands. We are millions. We are millions, guys. You know, it's, it's like, it's like the morning's going up to a big ass, a big, a big pile of ants. The morning's gonna say whatever, whatever. If all the ants get up and take over, that's what we are. We're the masses. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be the way that it is right now. We shouldn't be afraid of them. It should be the other way around. They should be afraid of us. I, I pretty much said what I had to say. If anybody, please, want to <laughs> say something about them, more than welcome. I want to hear everyone. I mean, if we could, but I think it's time. I think it's time, guys. I agree. Exactly. So I mean, we are we're gonna keep doing this. Like I said, this is a this is the fourth weekend that I, we've been out here, and honestly, this is I think the most people we've had, right? This is the most people we had. We've been out here all week last since it happened, and it just has to get bigger, guys. Can it go life? When it comes to life, is not gonna go in vain. Ranchers, American ranchers, lives matter. Your life matters. Your life matters. My life matters. Their life matters. My life matters. The government's killing American people. They're killing us. They're killing us. And if, if it was for them, they'll kill us all. That's what they want. So I suggest I suggest we just I suggest we we, we get real tight get real tight and we, we do what we have to do. You know, united, united and smart. Not just go, go take over some, somewhere that you don't know what can happen or the exits or <clears throat> checkpoints. I mean, we have to do it smart. And we're smarter than them. Simple reason is why? Because we're more. We're more than them, you know? It's the firepower that they have. You have it too. You know what I mean? So they just they just gather here for our brother and in memory of our brother Robert the Boy Finicum. I would I would ask for everyone to bow your head, take remove your hats, and I'm gonna say a prayer for him. And from there we could just gather and just talk with each other and try to bond. Before you start is right, I wanna say something. Yes sir. You know, you're talking about getting more people out here and very seldom ever do you get very many people out. We've been doing this for years and years now. We've been fighting something. We've been, we've been fighting for a long time. But the bottom line, as long as you get into it, as long as you do it, and you're trying to get the right politicians elected, you're trying to support the right people, you're trying to work for change. And it, it all goes back to Bible prophecy for me. You still got to work, you got to work for change and everything else. But you know, you got to look at the times we're living in too. And you know, it, Bible, I mean, you know, you talk about a beast rising up out of the sea and the whole end times deal and says power was given to him to make war with the saints and he overcame them. So there's going to be a lot of people hurt and a lot of people dead. It's just a matter of are you going to die on your feet or are you going to die cowering to somebody? We're going to have to fight. That's what we're here for. we got to fight. And there's going to be a whole lot of people getting hurt and there's going to be a whole lot of bad stuff happening. Are you going to, are you going to roll over for them and take it or are you going to stand up and fight? Yeah. How many here, here, here heard Victoria's uh, audio account of what happened that day? Yeah. Y'all hear it? Yep. yep. Now what you saw in that video matched exactly to a T to what that T. lady said. Yep. Now if that wasn't a straight up 100% murder of an American patriot, I don't know what else was. We just said it. 
if he was armed like they said they were, like they said he was, why didn't they disarm him? That old boy carried a hog leg. There was a gentleman by the name of Jason. He, he was armed. Why didn't they take the gun when he hit the ground? Exactly. There was a, that old boy carried a hog leg. There was a guy named by the name of Jason Patrick present at the refuge before Ammon and uh, the boy and the two ladies jumped into the pickup truck. The word was, hey, no firearms. That was the rule. We're going to the sheriff said no firearms. They were in compliance. He flipped it out of his hog leg and handed it to Jason Patrick, said, I'll get it when I get back. Yesterday, when Jason Patrick was arrested because he was told he could leave, he oh, surrendered shit. Mr. LaVoy's Finnegan's firearm. He had it in his possession when the FBI took him into custody. Now, I don't give a damn what the ABC says. I don't give a damn what the new MB News says or anybody flying else, but it matters. That is the facts. Out. And by the way, Mr. Sean Anderson, to my knowledge, is still alive. I have nothing more to say. So, well, we're going to bow our heads, say a prayer for our brother, and we can go from there, brothers. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day that you allow us to gather in this part, this free part of the United States of America. Arizona. We thank you for, for allowing us to, to be alive and to, to witness something that is going to change this nation. We ask that, that you may have his soul with you, Lord. We ask that you may bless his family and you may give up closure, Lord. We will not let this go in vain, God. We ask that you may bless us, that you may bless him and his family bless every single brother and sister that are here that are here in the name of jesus we ask amen amen, amen. amen. should i pray too yeah absolutely father i'd like to come before you also and you know we just continue to pour out our hearts before you and search and seek for you with all our hearts in this matter you know we know that there's so much going on and there's so much from your word that still has yet to be fulfilled the message so we lay down our lives before you in a way that you want us to lay it down. Each one of us individually, Lord, we pray that you would show us and that we would be tempted to hear from you exactly what you're saying, that none of us would go off in any direction on our own. But we would really be surrendered to you because I know that's what pleases you. And that you say without faith it's impossible to please you. So I pray for each one of us that we would grow in faith in you and that you say vengeance is yours and that you will repay you also ask us to bless those, uh, those who curse us and you say that not to turn evil for evil or insult for insult, but give a blessing instead. So we want to change our views and we want to, as people like so we want to operate with weapons and warfare that are mighty before you, you say, for tearing down the strongholds and all the lofty things raised up against the all So right now, Lord, um,
that will ensue where the deception will be great because it will increase on the earth. And just trust you that in this process that that this whole discerning, this whole period right now of discernment, that you're going to cause us to understand and discern better and have truth and that, that you are, that the harvest is white and that you desire us to be humble before you. So just confess these things and we know to you and we pray for you to lead us into all righteousness for your name's sake. And we pray this all in your name.